602 is your time, but we begin with the very latest in the Boston Marathon bombings. Johar Sonayev, the surviving suspect, is going to make his very first court appearance in just a few hours inside federal court in Boston. He'll be there to answer to multiple charges, including use of a weapon of mass destruction and multiple firearms charges. He, along with his deceased brother, are accused of setting off the bombs at the finish line of the Boston Marathon, killing three people and injuring almost 300 more. Then a few days later, the Sarnayev brothers allegedly killed MIT police officer Sean Collier before getting into a shootout with police in Watertown, Mass. That gunfight sparked an hours-long manhunt for Johar until, of course, he was found hiding in a boat. Right now, we want to go live to Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson. He's outside of Boston Federal Court now with the very latest. Andrew? Well, Danielle and Patrick, the public has not seen Jahar Sarnayev since that terribly tragic week back in April, and now they are going to get their first appearance of him since then when he appears in court coming up later today. His arraignment is scheduled for 3.30 p.m. It's all going to happen in courtroom 10 here at federal court. And here's a breakdown of exactly what he's going to be facing. Last month, Sarnayev was indicted by a federal grand jury on 30 counts for his alleged role in the bombings. 17 of the charges authorized a penalty of up to life in prison or the death penalty. The remaining charges also carry a life sentence in prison or a fixed term of years. Because of the public nature of this case, we are expecting a pretty packed courthouse here today. We're going to tell you what kind of high-profile visitors may be in attendance coming up. For now, live at the Mobile Newsroom in Boston, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.